Hi, John here from MT2IQ, and I'll be going over some of the benefits and features of the MT2IQ bot. So as you can see here on the main window, you have your trade history that shows your open, your close, and your trade amount, as well as the steps. So uh, this would be the second entry, step one on the Martingale, and it shows you the signal name as well as the profit and loss and you can also check here under trade history you can see your win rate you can see your trade history so you can see what's happening as well as the profit graph and you can check that according to each indicator you can also delete this history if you want to start over and you can export it as a CSV if you want to see it in a spreadsheet. And you also have a control panel here. So you can set up your settings. The trade amount you can get from the connector. So what that is, is basically you have your connector. You can set your trade amount here. So for example, $5, you can enter that. And then you have fixed trade amount. So if you want to set it to, for example, $1, $2, or 175 so you can set it up like that. And then you can also set up fixed martingale. So if you check this, you can enter in, for example, if you put in 175, so you can put four, step two. Then you could put 10, step three, and so on. Just set up however you wanted to. Or you can set up as percent of balance where it'll automatically calculate the martingale based on the coefficient. So for example, if you had $200 and you set it at 1%, so it would be $2 first entry. And then the coefficient, let's say you did 2.2. .2, so you would have to calculate that based on $2 times 2.2. .2. And then the next entry would be that amount times 2.2 .2 again, times the number of steps. So however many steps you want to do. Obviously it may sound like less risk to do less steps, but the thing is that obviously the market doesn't turn on a dime, so giving yourself more steps gives more margin for error, and you have daily stop loss, so this can help you with avoiding emotional trading where you have a bad spell and your balance just goes down to zero. So if you set, for example, you're doing $10 trades and you want to say after the 20th drawdown of 10, you're going to stop trading for the day. So you're going to take that 200 loss and you're not going to continue. Then you have daily take profit, which is the opposite. So once you hit a certain target of profit for the day, you would stop trading. Then you have trade amount limit. So this could be useful if you're doing larger trades based on percent of balance and you want to limit trade amounts at a certain level. So this can be helpful to help you to avoid going over the trade limits. Trade amount limit. This is going to be good for, you know, if you just want to make sure you don't over trade as they say. This is highly optional though because if you have a good indicator it doesn't really matter about the volume it's more important about the trading hours I would say because there's certain hours you should avoid trading on and there's times when they start closing pairs and dropping payouts and that tends to be from about 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern up until 12 a.m. Eastern 
can be a good time to avoid trading. So this would be, if you check this box, you can basically set up the local time. So for example, you could set it up for 2 to 2300 hours local time. So it wouldn't trade outside of those hours. And if you have trouble figuring out your time zone in relation to EST, you can go ahead and use the timeanddate.com meeting planner. That will help you to sort it out. And then we have minimum payout, which is very useful, especially if you're doing Martingale, because for example, if you have a payout at 60%, you're losing 40% every trade. So it adds up very quickly on your steps and it makes your coefficient have to be very large. So my suggestion is keep it at least 70% and you can also limit your open trades per pair so for example if you have two indicators running and you get a signal on USD JPY and you also get another signal on that same pair with a different indicator or you get two arrows back to back so basically this will help you to avoid a possible double breakout a possible you know entry that would be reaching deeper steps times two which would basically be double your risk level so this helps you to mitigate and limit your risk and you can do that for per pair as well as all open trades so that will greatly help you to mitigate your risk then we have close on um, unclosed minimize the trace so basically when you go to close the bot click the X it would just minimize the bot to the taskbar and not close it just getting the bot out of the way and then you have show account balance so that's going to show your balance on the bot as well as uh, showing your daily profit so you're going to be able to show your profit and show your account number so you can do show or hide of those you may want to, sh to hide those for a video presentation and so on and another great feature is the trade social trading feature where you can basically copy the signals of signal providers as well as provide signals for trade copiers and I'll be discussing that in another video so thanks for watching